Winter on our mountain can be tricky. We're jumping in the Cummins, we're grabbing a couple shovels, and we're going to do a recovery. But the snow is really testing us today. Never stuck, baby. Now I'm stuck. At least we're making progress plumbing. Everything is functional. We could take a poop in these pipes. <laughs> but let's not. Let's not. <laughs> or that's what we thought. Not gonna line up. <laughs> it's also not funny. <laughs> Sorry. What's up guys and good morning. We've got a nice little fun start to the day today. Grayson and uh, Jennifer just called us and they are stuck somewhere on our road. Uh, not able to get up one of the hills. They said they've slid backwards, they're crooked, they're blocking the road. So we're jumping in the Cummins, we're grabbing a couple shovels. And we're going to do a recovery. It is a bright and beautiful day, but it did snow yesterday, probably about a foot or two, and then over, whoa, <laughs> ah! overnight, uh, probably about another six inches. So there's patched snow and then there's fresh snow on top of it, which makes it very slippery. <laughs> No New is hanging out with Leo, having some breakfast, which is perfect. They uh, don't have to rush to get their clothes on and get in the car with us. And the roads are slippery. Even with chains on. Yeah, the roads are very slick. It's like uh, nice compacted ice and snow with just a couple inches of really kind of wet because of the sun and uh, like slippery, powdery, you know, skiff on top makes these roads pretty treacherous. So I'm hoping we can at least get to a spot where we can winch them to get them in a direction where they can drive out. Um, Grayson said we needed to bring shovels, which means it's either so deep that he doesn't think we can pull it out or um, I'm not sure, but hopefully they didn't dig, you know, giant holes that they're, they're stuck in. But the problem is we're on the top of the hill so if we're on the top of the hill, we can't necessarily just hook onto them and pull them up because sometimes it'll just pull us down the hill. So hopefully uh, Brandon's gonna be behind them probably by now. So we have straps and a bunch of stuff. Hopefully we can get them out. Oh, they're right here. Where are they? Oh, he's totally sideways. Oh man. <laughs> We're sliding. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there comes Brandon, so at least he'll be able to give a tug. Yeah. <clears throat> Brandon will have a much better vantage point here. What's the plan? <clears throat> I'm gonna, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to hook the winch up to him and pull his front end out of the ditch. was a van stuck right at the top. We barely squeezed past wow. him to make the curve. So we like, we, we barely made it up. We're like, okay, we're, we're, we're home, we're home, we're yeah. almost there. And we came around and it's just so soft. Yeah. And then we got, we were about halfway, we were almost there. And then it just started, we started sliding backwards. So he was trying to just go back down and then it just, we slid. Yeah. yeah. So we had no control. Yeah. Cause he thought if I could, he was gonna try to get into this driveway and then turn around. Mm. Cause when you're going backwards, you can't see what you're doing. Right. So. But. Now we're stuck. <laughs> At least it's soft snow yeah. on both sides. And it's beautiful out and here. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Terrible. All right, so like what Trent was saying earlier, it's a little sketchy to be doing this from above on a hill because you really don't want your truck to get pulled down into the truck that's stuck. So he's gonna very gently see if he can winch the front end of Grayson's truck out and see if that happens and if it causes our truck to slide at all. If it makes our truck slide, we're gonna stop and we'll probably hook up to Brandon's truck, which is uh, behind a little bit lower now. But we'll try this first and see what happens. Yeah! 
Oh, that's a not a good sound. There we go. <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. What a way to start the day, eh? Yeah, these roads are a mess today. The first step is complete. Grayson is unstuck, but now we have to figure out how to get Grayson and Brandon's truck up over this hill to our house. The roads are pretty slick. Our truck is a little bit, not stuck, but into the snowbank now. The eventful morning continues. What's the next stage? I don't know. Well, you're stuck. Me? Yeah. Never stuck, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Truck brigade. And you want to be like not peeling out, but just like kind of slowly accelerating. And then, like, as you're going up the hill, don't be like flooring it until it's like crazy, but just like you want to keep the, the, trying to accelerate up around the hill. Yeah, exactly. I, I think you'll be fine, but if you start sliding backwards, you can try to put it in reverse and then just let off the brake. If you notice when you start going backwards and you start hitting the brakes, you start sliding yeah. into the ditch. So that's, that's the problem with the brakes. Everyone's ready. We're going to attempt to head up this big hill without anybody getting stuck. He made it 90% of the way up the hill. And for that last 10%, Trent has a toe strap hooked on. We're just gonna give him a little bump. His did? Mine did. Oh. Now I'm stuck. Alright. The good news is it's a beautiful day. That's the only good news we've got so far. The back left chain on our truck just came off in the middle of trying to pull Grayson up the hill. So Trent is trying to put the chain back on while we are stuck in a ditch and connected to Grayson's truck, trying to pull him up the hill. Um, this rescue is a little bit more complicated than we anticipated. Got our chain back on. We unhooked from Grayson's truck. Our truck is now unstuck, and I think Trent is just gonna try to drive Grayson's truck himself, see if uh, he can wiggle his way out of this snowbank. Okay, first he's going back down. There we go. Get in position. Give yourself some speed. Oh no. He slid backwards, and now he's blocking the road in the same exact spot as the truck was before. Whew, basically starting over from square one. Hey, hey, hey. So right now Trent is airing down the tires. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. And then Brandon is gonna yank Grayson's truck down the mountain frontwards. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> They're out of that one. They're at 65. 
At least Jennifer's having fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So smooth. Nice. Okay. Look at you all unzipped. I'm sweating today. <laughs> and my thermal's on. I'm expecting to be in the, the, the addition where it's cold. Out here in the sun, it's hot. Yeah. Trent's gonna turn around. At least it's a cool looking truck. Yeah, you got that going for it. <laughs> Hopefully this is the very end. Trent! We did it. Wow! <laughs> Hot chocolate for everybody. I Woo! don't want to fall Close my eyes not Are you ready? Good night. Oh, good. It broke. It broke? Yeah. yeah, but then Mama fixed it with the tape, right? Yeah. Ooh. What is it? Yes. All right, guys, we are unpacking our Cook Unity meal pack right now for the week. We're about to throw this stuff in the fridge, and I'm going to make one of these right now because I'm absolutely starving. And today's video is sponsored by Cook Unity. Cook Unity is a personalized meal subscription service for busy people who want to eat healthily but are overwhelmed by what that takes. Fill out a personalized meal plan to select your perfect variety of dishes and learn about the diverse and thoughtful recipes that each chef has created. They ship it to you, you throw it in the fridge, and then when you're ready, all you do is warm it up and eat it, and it's like having a professional culinary experience right here in your house. Take the stress out of healthy eating and enjoy hot, fresh meals delivered right to your door. One of my favorite foods to get is actually Indian food, but one, Indian food is really expensive, and two, the closest Indian food place to us is like almost an hour away. This came delivered right to my door, delicious chicken tikka masala. It smells absolutely amazing. I see. Oh yeah. I see. Little rice. Mmm. Yes. That's amazing. If you're looking for amazing meals that come right to your door that take basically zero prep and zero cleanup, Cook Unity's awesome. And if you guys want to check them out, right now they're actually giving you guys a special deal. You click the link in our description, or if you go to cookunity.com slash Trent and Alley, or use code Trent and Alley at checkout, you'll get 50% off your first week of meals. Yes, that's your first week of meals when you click the link in our description, or go to cookunity.com slash Trent and Alley, or use code Trent and Alley at checkout. I wanted to say thanks again to Cook Unity for sending us these amazing meals and sponsoring today's video. All right, so yesterday it was blistering cold and really miserable and we tried to make as much progress as we could. We didn't get super far, but uh, today we've got the rest of the fittings that I think we were missing yesterday. So now we're gonna try and get the rest of the plumbing in the crawl space finished and then we're gonna try and get everything up to the upstairs and uh, we're gonna get as far as we can. It's, it's gonna be a little brutal and then when we get the vents all the way to like the eaves, we're literally gonna have to get on an extension ladder outside, get the extension ladder over into the six foot deep snow, and then climb up and drill some holes through the eave and get the pipes ran out and... Today? Do you think? No. Okay. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait till springtime. <laughs> it's ripped, so probably gonna drop some stuff. That's a 60s I almost got, but I didn't think we'd be able Gonna dust it off with my own hands. All right, so we've been down here brainstorming. We got a bunch of new fittings, and I'm kind of deciding that the way we've designed this drain system 
is gonna be problematic. It's gonna be a big hindrance to this space down here. So we have this huge, really tall crawl space. It's a walk space, it's not a crawl space. And I did this intentionally because I wanted to be able to come down here and either work on things that needed, you know, had issues. I really wanna be able to use this space down here for a lot of storage. And so all of these drain lines are gonna be in the way. They're gonna be super problematic. So we're actually gonna be cutting everything that we did yesterday apart and redoing all of it because we've come up with a better plan and a better idea of how we should do this. Installing these drain lines at this height is gonna hinder this entire space and that's a horrible idea. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna raise all these drain lines up as high as possible and try and tuck them up inside the joists and basically just get them out of the way. So we have a bunch of extra fittings, we've got all day and uh, we're gonna start cutting this stuff apart and hopefully it's gonna be 10 times better when we're done. So without further ado, let's get to work. We've been making some progress. We've got quite a bit of the drain pipe down here in the actual crawl space completed. Uh, we are still missing one fitting. Uh, we're always missing fittings. We're always forgetting things. And it's okay because each day on the way to work, somebody's passing a hardware store or something so we can pick it up tomorrow. It's not a huge deal. But uh, like I was talking about earlier, we were gonna have those pipes that were really low and super in the way. And now the pipes are all up tightly tucked against the joists. This pipe over here is tightly tucked against that joist and then they're gonna drop down. There's gonna be a clean out right here and then that's gonna go out the building. This space is gonna be much more easily utilized because of that, it's a much better setup and I'm really glad that we did that. So now we've gotta drill a couple holes and we're gonna start running some of the plumbing for the bathroom on the main floor. And then once we get those pipes up into the floor joists of the second story. We can go back up to the uh, master bathroom and start working on the, the uh, drains up there. And while we are out here in the addition, freezing our butts off and working away, Allie's in here working also, hanging out with Lika. She's editing. She's doing the actual work. All right, we're doing our best and making do with what we got because what we're doing is not excellent work, but we are making some progress. We've got basically most of this bathroom completely plumbed. We have our tub stubbed up right there. We've got our uh, toilet flange installed. We've got our sink stubbed out right here. And then the vent is coming over this direction and going up there. We had to make a minor repair that Grayson is holding right now because we got our vent pipe in there and there was a belly in it, so we had to lower that stack down just a little bit. But that's why we bought extra couplers and extra fittings and all that stuff so that if we have issues and problems like that, we can fix them. So now I just gotta run a pipe up through the double top plate, over, up into the floor, above, and then I need to put a coupler on here and run this pipe up into that double top plate. And then we can start working them out. And then we can start worrying about our sinks and our shower upstairs. It has been quite the day. It's probably really dark in here, so you might not even be able to see very well on this camera, but we got the drain and the vent and this vent system up and stubbed into the bedroom up there. And uh, we're basically ready 
to start doing the sinks and the tub and the toilet and the shower upstairs. But that is gonna happen tomorrow. Um, Allie has been editing basically all day. We've been out here working our butts off. Needless to say, I thought we could do the plumbing drain of this part of the house in a day. So I was like, there's not that much. It'll be super easy. And uh, here we are two days in and we're probably halfway done. So wish us luck and we'll see you in the morning. Another day, another dollar. We are uh, just getting ready to head back into the addition. Yesterday we got quite a bit done as far as gluing fittings together, but we were missing some fittings. So Brandon picked up some extra fittings today. Now we're gonna go out, hopefully completely finish the drain waste and vent in the crawl space. And then we're gonna start working on the upper second and lower, the upper first and lower second story as far as plumbing goes. And I think by the end of today, we should probably be able to finish all of the drain waste and vent. If we don't, it's because we run into problems and we run out of fittings, but that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Oh, is that a good girl? <laughs> Lika's so happy. Lika's so, Lika, go jump. Up here, go jump. Oh, Look yes. at the mountain dog. <laughs> this is Siberian Belgian Malinois. <laughs> good girl. You gonna go up? Okay. So yesterday we got basically everything done down here except for this fitting. So now I have this fitting. I need to get a piece of pipe that goes from here to here, a piece of pipe that goes from here to our long sweep 90, get that all glued on, and then the basement will be done. Nice. Or the uh, crawl space will be done. Everything down here officially has slope, is installed, is glued. Last thing to put in is this uh, test plug, which is gonna go in our clean out here. And then when we're ready to actually test the full system, all we have to do is pump this up. However, we're gonna pump it up right now so that poo smells from the septic system don't come up and fill the addition and make the addition real stinky. What are you looking for? 35 PSI. Inflate 35 PSI. All right, we're sealed up. No more poo smell. Everything is functional. We could take a poop in these pipes. <laughs> but let's not. Let's not. <laughs> absolutely freezing in here. It is cold outside. We've got the candle on, so it's kind of loud in here. These guys are just problem solving like it's their job, which I guess technically it is. Um, Trent is now trying to figure out how to get the, the toilet slope from the upstairs bathroom down to connect over here. Well, we've come to the realization that it's no big surprise to any of you. We did it wrong. Oh. Uh, we don't have enough slope. 
to get from here down to that pipe over there. We, we would have enough slope. Mm -hmm. We would have just enough slope. But we have to use an offset flange because this toilet was supposed to sit like right on top of this joist. Mm. So obviously that was going to create a problem. So the offset flange not only offsets the flange, but it also kind of drops it down, which means you run into less headroom inside the floor. And now we've had to put a fitting on the bottom of that offset flange and it's dropped it down so that we barely have enough slope to get into the closet. And uh, once we get inside the closet, we're going to have to drop the pipe down and run it along the outside of the wall and then connect to our pipe. And then we're going to have to fur the wall inside that closet out like three and a half inches. That's fine. That's normal. That's not even a problem. You're pissing me off. It's just a closet. Yeah, I know it's just a closet. It's just like way more work than I want to do. Yeah. I want to just drop it over and just have it go straight down into the crawl space. Yeah. Then we gotta put 12 fittings in there and hopefully it all lines up. It's not gonna line up. <laughs> it's also not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like you're licking that from over here. No, definitely not licking it. to change our angle of attack and our plan multiple times now, and that's okay. Uh, we've finally figured out a way to make this toilet and tub drain have enough slope and make it into the closet where we're gonna fur this wall out so that this pipe can be on the outside of the wall. And Leo's closet is just gonna be a little bit smaller than we anticipated it being, but at least the plumbing is actually going to work and uh, we can get this section over with because this is so frustrating and so aggravating. Brandon's cutting the last piece of three inch right now that's gonna go in this section right here. Hopefully those line up. <laughs> they look like they should. And uh, once that piece goes in, then we're officially moving upstairs. Well, no, we're not. I lied. Then we can start doing the uh, shower drain and the sink drains and uh, tie those into the stack over here in the wall. And then we can finish doing the vents out the roof. I like how you can kind of just wing it with plumbing. Mm -hmm. And it might cost you twice as much and it might give you a real big headache. Hmm. But in the end, you can pretty much get it done. You know, probably the best thing about it. You just end up singing Nickelback double. A lot of Nickelback yesterday. <laughs> we were all singing Nickelback It has been quite the day here. We are making progress by leaps and bounds. I finally got the uh, vent for the toilet ran and it's, I've got it ran, I've got it run. I ran it, 
I ran it. I ran the vent from this toilet up into the uh, master toilet zone. That's where it's gonna be stubbed out the eave up there. So this whole tube section, drain section here is completely plumbed. And then we actually got our sink drains, which are up there. They come over here and come down into this Y and go down into the crawl space. And then that P-trap area up there is the vent and the drain for the shower. Those come over here, go down into the crawl space. So basically everything on the first floor here is completely done. Everything in the crawl space is completely done as far as like gluing and you know putting all the pipes together. We still got to do some like supports and stuff here and there, but we'll do that all at the end. And now we're ready to go upstairs and start doing the sinks. And basically once I get the sinks, I just got to run all the vents out the eaves and we'll be done with drain waste and vent, which is not going to be today, but hopefully it will be in the next video. making progress yeah that's all that really matters yeah. and we've made a lot of progress with the drain system even though I had to redo everything in the crawl space which was a little bit aggravating <laughs> but I'm way happier with how it came out now you're getting better as a plumber every time you do this that's right the next house I'll be way better yeah <laughs> probably <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not building another house. <laughs> anyway, I think this is where we're going to let you guys go. If you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios! I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told to think